So there is a naturally occurring space in between the ankle bone and the heel bone called the sinus tarsi. So sinus is an open space. And so the whole weight of the body goes onto the top of the ankle bone and from there it's redistributed through the back of the heel and through the front of the foot. So this little open space kind of acts as the pivot point for the natural um, redistrib redistribution of those forces. And so when the ankle bone slides off the heel bone, that naturally occurring space closes. So, um, so the treatments for this include arch supports. Now, let me stop yeah. you there, because yeah. a lot of us have tried that before. Right. And, and you feel it, and, and some of the arch supports are really hard. I right. mean, bang them on the table, right? Yeah. And they go up and they push up inside yeah. your, the arch. The arch, it's okay. arch, right. And it, it feels different. Sure. You know, and it, right. it's funny, because it's like, it kind of hurts, and I know that a lot of times people right. put them in, they wear them too much at first, because right. your body can't take that much, right? Well, again, you're, it, it's like you have the leaning tower of Pisa and you're trying to support it. And so you're jamming into the arch and the foot is collapsing down onto this arch support. But the problem with arch supports is that they cannot control the ankle joint, the ankle bone motion. So because the, the arch support goes on the bottom of the foot and this ankle displacement is occurring above the bottom of the foot. So, um, so the arch supports really cannot stabilize the, uh, it can't realign the, this, uh, can't stabilize this condition.